Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, if you believe in evolution or you believe in Genesis, it makes no difference. What occurred in, human in the human story was the evolution of man and what we call civilization. And at each level, we improved civilization. Now, unfortunately, in different parts of the world, civilization has evolved further than in other places. You can go back out to the outback in Australia. You can go to places in Australia, places in China. Five million people still live in caves. So in different parts of the world, there is a difference in evolution of civilization. Western civilization, as we call it, evolved through Europe, came over to the United States, the beginning of the settlements, because we were all Europeans for the most part, and it evolved. It evolved to where this country fought a civil war to end slavery, which wasn't very civil. Although, all great civilizations had slavery up until then. What I'm about ready to go over with you should scare the hell out of you if what's going on in the world, to put it in context and perspective. And I've had this idea for some time, and I had to be in the mood to do it, and I'm in the mood to do it. And it's going to be an eye-opener for you. Civilization. The number one thing from the beginning of caveman, the beginning of Adam and Eve, you name it, safety. Number one, safety. You have to be safe. You have to be protected from the elements. You got to be protected from all of it. Others, prosperity. You want to keep getting better. You need to work. You need to have purpose. You need to have a job. Bobby Kennedy, a liberal Democrat at the time, said the number one thing for a man is his job. First thing you say at a cocktail party, what do you do, Bob? What do you do, Mary Ann? What do you do? It's your identity. Home. Not only for shelter, but your refuge from the world. I don't know about you. My home is my refuge from the world. I go home every day. I exhale. It's like, oof. Church. Congregations. And it's not just religion, but it's communion. It is communion of people in a church. Higher power makes, you know what? Marx might have called it the opium of the people. You know what I say? Whatever works. Groups. Americans, there's more organizations than people in America. What does that tell you? We're joiners. We're social animals. Education. The backdrop of everything, the backbone of everything is education. Our founding fathers talked about it. education, created public schools, private schools, health care. You have to have health care. And the better your health care system, the better you can do all these things. Also, borders. Every country in a civilization has a border. Cities have borders. Counties have borders. States have borders. Countries have borders. And you know what you got to have to protect your border? A military. Unless you're Switzerland, which is a big rocky mountain that stays neutral that nobody wants, you have to have a military. You have to have a strong military. Then I put this up social. We have just been reminded, just been reminded of the importance of our getting out in nature. Parks, hiking, all that, sports, music, play, art, television, movies, festivals, bars, restaurants, books, and I'm sure I left something off. Now, drum roll, punchline. Drum roll, punchline. This is what a society needs to be healthy, happy, and prosperous. And America 
in the United States of America, through all the imperfections, through all the problems and all the issues, we created the best. America is the best civilization, bar none, that has ever been created. And remember my rule, you can always be improving, but you improve, you don't tear down. Now, there's the punchline. What's going on in America today? Every single one of these is under attack big time from the leftist policies, the anarchists, God knows the foreign governments that are meddling, the far left, the liberals, the Democrats, Black Lives Matter, you name it. Defund police? Whoa! Destroy the economy? Wow! People being concerned about their homes? Safety? St. Louis! That people were out there. Look what happened in Bethel. You can't go to church. We don't want you in groups. Schools shut down. Health care. Nothing matters unless you get coronavirus. Let everybody in. Weaken the military. Stop social discourse. When I say the very fiber of America, and America itself is at stake. I mean it. It is the destruction of civilization. If I was Donald Trump, I'd take this theme and run with it. Run with it. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Please share that with all your liberal friends.